Hi, I'm Alan Kramer, Chief Technology Officer of SRS Labs, and today we're going to talk about the second most annoying thing on television. The first being reality shows. The second, and I think everyone will agree, is loud commercials or volume shifts when you change channels. Uh, really annoying, especially at night. It's uh, very disturbing, and, it, and I know it drives me crazy. Uh, it's such a serious problem, and so many people are concerned with it that even Congress is trying to pass legislation to get this under control. But as with many uh, pieces of legislation, uh, it's, it's only part of the solution. It's not a full solution. So at SRS, we've developed a technology called True Volume, which actually controls these level shifts at the end point, in your home, in the TV set, or in your set-top box, and gets this stuff under control at the point where it really makes sense. Because you can regulate the volume at one TV station, but you can't match all the TV stations, all the hundreds and hundreds of channels that, that come in. Um, you also can't uh, regulate volume at that point and control other sources. If you're like me, you have lots of sources hooked up to your TV. You have a DVD player, a Blu-ray player, a game console. All of those things are operating at different levels. And every time you change those inputs, the volume's going to shift. And even to get the volume under control between the program and commercial is very, very complicated. Much more complicated than you would imagine. You would think that these guys are professionals that work in these stations and these studios and they can turn the knob up and down or do whatever they do with their meters and, and get everything under control, but it, unfortunately it's not as simple as that. And uh, I'll explain one of the reasons for that. Uh, it's kind of one of the tricks they play when they produce commercials to kind of make them blast out at you. <clears throat> if we look at a typical um, signal, audio signal from a, a TV show like a sports broadcast or a movie, you find that they put the announcers or the dialogue down, let's say they put it at this level. And let's say this is the maximum level that we can go to. And that's what the meters typically show. Where, the, what, where we can go without getting into a problem, the meter says this is as high as you can go. So the announcer's talking along and all of a sudden there's a home run or a, a touchdown or something and the crowd cheers and the signal goes way, way up, then everything calms down again, and then you have the announcer down at this level. So that's completely normal. If you were to try to squish this down or, or change this ratio in any way, you take away a lot of the excitement of the program itself. But then those nefarious commercial guys come on. And they say, well, we don't need all this room. We don't need all this space in here. We know what our commercial is. It's not going to suddenly get louder. So we're going to push everything up to this level. So all of a sudden, every sound in that commercial is at this high level. Now, if you were to measure this act the maximum level, if you were to set this by legislation or just simply telling your engineers, don't ever exceed this level, the commercial is not exceeding the level. It's exactly the same peak level as the program. But the average level is so much higher. And that's what you hear. And that's why the commercial sounds so much higher. So with a solution like True Volume, we understand this. We understand how this works. And we can bring this up just a little bit and this down so the two meet in the middle and you hear a very even volume between the program and commercial or between channels or between sources on the TV. Um, True Volume also takes into account how people hear we're actually much more sensitive to volume shifts in the mid frequencies where, where voice is than we are at the higher and lower frequencies. So True Volume does a very detailed analysis in 20 bands of exactly where the volume shifts are taking place and makes very careful adjustments to be as transparent as possible. With a solution like this, if you hear it working, it's not doing its job. What you want to do is enjoy nice even volume levels, but you don't want to hear any strange effects that are caused by the, by the solution. You don't want the solution to be worse than the problem. So SRS True Volume is now available uh, <clears throat> on a number of TVs in the market from Samsung and Vizio, and will soon be available on set-top boxes uh, from some of the major uh, satellite and cable operators. And we think that we have really come to the point 
uh, where we've brought this whole problem uh, under control. And hopefully all you'll have to contend with now is reality shows. Thank you.